Hello, welcome, and namaste. I am the Master of Balance. Balance. Also known as Delightful Poisoning. And welcome to <laughs> a revisit that encourages revisit. I'll explain that in a little bit. But first, I'd like to thank of mustaches and men. <laughs> I've seen them. Their mustache is fantastic. It's like a 20s mustache. It's great. Thank you for the follow. Azibon TTV, thank you for the follow. Spiky T, thank you for that shout out that you gave me a day or two ago. And Tonicus. Tonicus. Thank you for the follow very, very much. Tired love for you all. Okay. Quick stream readers, blah, 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 and then we'll get into the actual game. And what fun for you people. You're going to get a sneak preview of literally all the games that I've got on my Nintendo Switch right now. How fun is that? At least some. <laughs> At least a little bit of fun, I should hope. Hopefully this music is sufficiently mysterious enough for the game that we're playing today. I should hope so, because the game that we're playing is quite mysterious indeed. Uh, yeah, we're going for the gold chest, are you kidding? I guess we could have gone down here and got a few more chests before going for the boss. But why do that? Like for real, I don't, I don't know why we would try to do that. Okay, gonna play a rogue right in the front, vibe up our tribe. Ask for some more rows in the front here. Maybe some ranged units back behind here. And some support units behind them. Okay? I'm gonna check my quest real quick and then I'm gonna say the thing that of course I have to say, telling you all to come and place your units. Help me out here, why don't ya? Do it. I suppose I should really put Stream Raiders as one of my tags, shouldn't I? Oh well, I'll think about that. Anyway, streamraiders.com slash t slash delightful poisoning, or go to there, play as a viewer, and select me as your captain. And speaking of captains, check this out. So we got a few games here, you can see. We got a chess game, we got Fortnite, we got Killer Queen Black, which I'd actually like to stream at some point. I gotta go down to the R's because today we are playing a little game called Return of the Obra Din. Ooh, ah, mysterious. There we go. Servant, server token error. Why is it still bothering me about that? That was for a completely different game. All right. Here we are with Return of the Oberdin. What is Return of the Oberdin, you may ask? Well, <laughs> Oh, it's so much fun. It's such an interesting story. Here, I'll pause it for a second and... Jeez. How do I get rid of that message on there that says that bit about the tokens? I don't know. I don't know if I even can. Say, here, 
their car server or something. I don't want to have that on the screen the whole time, but I don't know really how to get rid of it. Maybe if I go to that token generator site. Yes, this one. That's the one I wanted to find. I... I am not a robot. <laughs> Well, I may need to play around with this a little bit, but I obviously don't want to do that while on stream, so we'll just have to figure it out. So, welcome one and all to the Oberdin. It's an old-timey 18th century, or 17th century, one of the two, maybe even 19th. This is in the 1800s. <laughs> I always get that confused. Anyway. So, the premise of this game is that you are a female insurance agent and you're tasked with coming aboard the ship, which mysteriously disappeared about five months ago, thereabouts, right? And then, even more mysteriously, it just floated into shore. Ah, mysterious. Okay. And your job... Uh, let me see, what's the button? Here. This is the log. Your job is to find everyone, right? We have like 20 some odd, 40 some... Oh, there's even more than I thought. Holy shit. 60. There are 60 passengers in the manifest. Okay. And your job is to find out who they are, just find them on the ship, right? And more importantly, find out how they died. That is your task. I am doing all right, Fastmender. Fast I'm having a little bit of an issue, a <laughs> tiny little display issue here, because I was trying to do a Twitch integrated game and evidently it was it Wait, wanted to stick around and tell me that the token boss. thing didn't work they very well. Right oh, this Mercy! She shot him in the head! Ooh! Overwatch 2! Oh! I oh killed my four. god! <laughs> that was the heal. That was the rebo. Bro, that was crazy. <laughs> I'd like to put it on record you. that oh Mercy god, enabled I that. <laughs> but still, that was magnificent. I killed the whole team. Be uplifted, says Bro, I hope that's game of, play of the game. What the? It freaking better be. Like, if that was not play of the game, I'll eat my hat. For real. Okay. So, as I was saying, you got to find... you got to identify the cause of death for everyone. And I, as you can see, I've already gotten a few of them. Like, Edward Spratt here. He was taking a dump off the bow, and then the beast... A giant tentacled beast, a kraken, basically, came up and just... Bye-bye. 
Be careful where you take a shit. <laughs> um, so yeah. But you might be wondering, like, <laughs> Captain Robert Whitrill shot himself. Yes, he did. See, there's all these, like, uh, clues, right? Like, on the cargo deck is where I can find a clue to some people's death. And by the way, an ad's going to start in about a little over two minutes, just so everyone's aware. So what you've got to do is you've got to use logic, you know? You've got to think about, okay, where were these people? Because some of them don't go, oh, that guy was obviously crushed by a cannon. And they are this person, you know? So you've got to think it through and go, oh, what's that? His name was, I don't know, John Davies? Okay. So John Davies was crushed by a cannon. Good to know, right? And then you figure that out. And as they become more solid, what happens is... Hold on, let me get to the back of the book real quick. Oh yeah, and there's a whole story that you figure out as you go through this. The doom revolves around the ship being attacked by the Kraken. Right, see, I know that this guy was blasted by an explosion. I just don't know exactly who he is. And they're not going to confirm it for me until I figure out three of them. Okay? I think I know who that guy is, actually, because I have played this game before. He's a guy from Indonesia because of his tattoos. So I could probably just plug that name right in there and be like, okay, there we go. That one's done. Yeah, he didn't expire from old age. He, like, fucking bled out. <laughs> That's what he did. Um, yeah, he's Paul Moss, but see, in this case, I have to figure out not only how he died, but who killed him, right? Because I saw this, but I'm getting ahead of myself, because there's a very special mechanic in this game, and I want to show it to you, but see, each of those lines represents one person that I have figured out the correct cause of death for, and that's about to start... And we'll get into more of that later. Um, gonna go back to the table of contents. Uh, see the ship, because I want to see the deck plans. Am I on the... I'm on the Orlop deck. I want to go down to the cargo hold. That's where I want to go. Okay. So we have to go down even further... Here we are, the cargo hold. Creepy old ship, isn't it? Aha, see? <laughs> this is what I was talking about. This little watch that I have right here, it's gonna do something kind of mind-blowing. And I'll show it to you as soon as the ad is complete. Uh, oh, that's good.
to a different stream server, huh? Okay. We could maybe do that. I wouldn't want to just stop streaming all of a sudden. Unless it fixes the problem. Okay, sorry. Anyway, we're back. So, here's what happens. You, you pull out the watch, and you hit A, and this happens. Da -da. Hoist away. Uh-oh. So we got some poor bastard right there, underneath a bunch of cargo. And there's all sorts of people all over. Unfortunately, we can't quite see who is holding it. We got this gentleman right here. There's a way to like, focus in on him and see who he is if we figured it out. And then there's this dude over here right? There's like a way to find the moment before this moment. But first we need to just stop being in this moment, which the game will do. See? It just kind of dissolves like that. So this is what I was looking for, I believe. Right here. The loose cargo. Wow. See, it happened right up the coast of England near the beginning of their voyage. Right? Corpse was moved post-mortem. An unidentified stowaway, expecting free passage and eventual freedom, but instead crushed inside a falling barrel. Oh! See how my watch is shaking right like that? Watch what happens when I do that. See? This guy was crushed. But what happened is... His death is related to another moment. See? I hit A. And this little wispy thing will show me the path to another clue. Or it just leads me back to where the corpse actually was in his last moment of death. Right, this place is very interesting, but it's locked up, so let's not concern ourselves with it. Did I already do this one? Hmm. Not sure. Da da! It does that dramatic music no matter what, so I can't really tell you if I've done it before or not. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. Yeah. What madness is this? What madness is this? never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those godly beasts carry a curse. Blow them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those... Fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? Uh... Right, so there he is. There's the guy who died. Where is the rest of his leg? Who knows? I guess it's back this way, but the memory doesn't go that far back. Let's see. I think that's the captain. That's the bosun. Right, he may yet find his senses. So he's the steward. And the steward of the captain, if I'm not greatly mistaken. So if that's correct, then we can probably... figure out, like, 
name this guy as the steward. Or, you know, like, we know he's the steward. So he was carried off to the Lazarette. Oh, unholy captives. Yes. This is part four. Okay, so I'm not really sure who this guy is. This is a, a photo from, because earlier, what happens is uh, someone tries to steal something and this guard guy goes, Oi, what are you doing? <laughs> and they go, uh-oh, and just kind of shank him. <laughs> but they frame the, a different guard for that, and that guy gets a firing line. So this gentleman was part of the crew. He was uh, part of the firing line. It looks as though he bled to death. I don't know if there's a expired. No, not from old age. He killed with a sword, perhaps, is a better. Oh, and look at all the fun, all the fun causes of death here. We got struck by hooves, a tail, a wing. We got strangled. We got spiked. We got speared. We got shot with an arrow or a gun. Oh, goodness. Right? I don't know what you would call this. I guess killed with a sword because his leg got cut off. But we'd have to find the name of the steward who, you know, did that. Uh-oh. It seems there's another corpse in this area, perhaps up here. Aha. Now we get to see the last moments of this guy's death and try and figure out how he died. Let's do that, shall we? Follow the wisp. I imagine this must be so freaking difficult in like a Victorian era dress. <laughs> You know, you gotta like hike it up and go, hey, hold on, <laughs> come back. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> there we are. And this is how you reveal a lot of the clues and the various corpses and deaths. You've got to go from one death to another to another. Like there's one that happens out at sea, slight spoiler there, but you know, it goes from on the boat to out at sea to still out at sea to back on the boat. Like, it's really fucking crazy. Uh-oh. Lost signal there for a second. What happened? What happened? Where'd the signal go? Come back. Come on. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Seriously need a new capture card, I think. Good God. Okay. Let's check out this guy's last moment, shall we? Ta -da. Ooh! He got pwned by this. What are they carrying? Who can say? But it's got a big old fin, it seems. There's a few different things happening here. There's this guy. There's the artist, that's who that is. We got this guy, who judging by his uh, kerchief there, he's a steward, I believe. It's too bad that I really can't get much higher than this. I believe that dude is the butcher. The butcher or the doctor, one of the two. So yeah. That guy just got his head caved in. But he has a rather distinctive looking hat. If I'm not greatly mistaken. It's hard to tell with these graphics, obviously, but... I do believe that his hat is a giveaway. See? There he is. He's got his hat on. 
See, we don't know who it is yet, but we can say that it was crushed by cargo, I guess. It's not really cargo so much as it is, like, rigging or something like that. But he was definitely crushed, so that's about all we can do here. Oh, but wait! There's more. Oh, can we get up there? How do we get up there? Just go around these guys? Well, no, we just gotta get close enough, I guess, and do this. <laughs> this is what I meant earlier when I said that one thing kind of leads to another, you know? Right, I think this guy definitely got crushed, if I'm not greatly mistaken. But let's find out. Let us view his final moments and see just what there is to see. Throw the bodies over. What's your put in? and I can fry a solid meal, boys. <laughs> Heaven no. Take it slow. One sec, gentlemen. There's a free shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. Ooh! And he got pwned. No, see, I think this guy is the cook. He got nailed by Finn, and he is dead, dead, dead. Poor, poor bastard. Who's this running in the opposite direction? Not sure, but he's got one heck of a beard. Get up here on the deck. Got a few clues sort of happening here. We got this mysterious box. We got some corpses here. Not sure who they are or why they died, but they appear to be tied up. Or at least that one is, I think. Oh, that guy's the doctor, I, if I'm not greatly mistaken. Because who else would be examining the bodies, right? Right, 28 others were present for this guy's death. Okay, so I want to point a couple things out. First of all, you see the triangles up above his picture? That's an indication of how difficult it is to figure out who the fuck this guy is. You know? One triangle is like, oh, we know who it is. Like, it's obvious. You know? Like, the captain? He was pretty ob easy to figure out. You figure it out right in the beginning, because it shows the very end of the story, basically, where he kills himself. So, and the picture... You'll notice that the picture is pretty damn clear, given the graphics, you know, as opposed to other pictures that were like, fuzzy is all get out, right? What that means is that we have enough information, based on all the other memories that we've seen, to identify this guy, if we so choose. So, yeah, uh, let's see, he was, um, uh, struck? with a tail, and I'm pretty sure he was the cook. So this is where the manifest, oh, no, I've already gotten the cook. So perhaps the butcher? You know, he, he has to be someone that's in that sort of profession because like he's obviously not a midshipman. He's not a topman. He's not a seaman, ha ha ha. Right, unless. Oh, nope, see? I, I had wrote, written down cook for someone else, so I think this guy's the cook. This is Thomas Sefton, I believe. But it's not going to tell me for sure until I find out the identities of a few others. Oh, is this what I was looking for? Hold on. I just want to make sure that this is what I'm supposed to be finding here. Seems that this guy's death, yep, yep, it's related to these two gentlemen over here who 
apparently might have died at the same time. Who even knows? Let's find out. Magical pocket watch! Whoa. How awesome is this music right here? For real, it's like an actual symphony and shit. Right? And you'll notice that I can't even, like, get onto the rigging or anything. Except that I can. With the power of memory. Alright, you poor bastards. Let's see how you died. Dun -dun. <laughs> this is us and what the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. Shell? What shell? Oh! He done got speared. By he got spiked by whatever the fuck this thing is. Yikes. Oh, and we got three more dead bodies. Fun. Looks like this guy might be one of the They're like from Laos or Cantonese something like that not sure exactly I'd have to check the passenger manifest All right this guy is definitely the doctor and here's the thing you can re-enter these memories after the first time and when you do you can sort of hone in on other people and be like oh this is how this person died this person it must be the doctor you know now we just got to find the doctor. Okay. Right. This unknown soul. See, the, the picture is super clear, so we should be able to figure out who he is. Um, he got spiked by a terrible beast. Yes. And this guy... Well, actually, I don't know if that guy did. I know that this guy got spiked because I saw him. This other guy, I'm not even sure where he was in relation to, you know, the spikes and everything else. Gee, what a surprise. There's more bodies. This may be the crazy one that actually takes us off ship. So I'll do this memory real quick and then I'll see if I can pause it. I don't know if I can pause it mid-memory, but I can try. Oh, look. Unholy captives. And all the X's are the ones... Those are all the bodies that died. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we go into Soldiers of the Sea. So those five people that we need to figure out who they are, how they died, and if applicable, who killed them. All right. Oh, looks like we're gonna bring up that corpse over there. But first, oops, I can't seem to move. Oop. Hold on, hold it. Bring up Stream Raiders first. God, that music is so fucking dramatic, isn't it? It's like... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Fools, thank you. It's a little too quiet here. Let's bring up some actual music, shall we? Alright kick their asses. Yes, we did. Now it's time for the boss chest. 
Dun dun dun. Come on, hurry up. Thank you. Uh, looks like we need a few different units here, so let's place a trusty dusty archer. Vibe up this tribe. Ask for some melee units at the front. Tank some of those hits. Some ranged units. And some support units scattered about. Okay? Streamraiders.com slash T slash delay poisoning. Go and choose me as your captain. You won't regret it, I promise. <laughs> Don't need that to happen. Okay. It's interesting. Oh, I was about to say, it's interesting that the music doesn't continue, but there it is. It's going. I think we get into how the... Right, remember earlier when I said that a guard got shanked and someone tried to steal something? I think this is what we're getting into right now. If I'm not greatly mistaken. I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! Ah. Ooh! Apparently they didn't want to hold their fire. So he got shot by this dude over here. See, this is the problem. It's kind of cool. I can lock on water in here. <laughs> How cool is that? But the only issue is that I have to, like, I'm not even sure who this guy is. If I had to take a guess based on my previous playthrough of this game, I'd say it's probably the guy who stole the treasure later in the game, or later in the story. But you can see there's a couple more boats. Uh-oh. Got a shiny, shiny shell. And what is that? I don't know. Oh, and this poor soul. I think we can determine her cause of death. Because... It's really obvious who she is and how she dies. It just, we get into it later. Okay. I think I'd like to move on from this memory now. Thank you. That's the one thing that kind of sucks. Because this game is an older game. It's like from the 80s, I think. But it still kind of has the same controls as the 80s. So you can't really control the memory when you see it, you know? The calling. Who is this? And how did they die? Okay. So, the hat is a pretty obvious giveaway. It's like the second mate or the fourth mate. One of the... One of the mates. It's one of the many mates. Um, and I'd like to point something out here, if I may, if I can find an example here. Give me a second. Y you'll notice how it went from 17 to 21, just like that, and how there's no number one who's the captain and all that. You know why that is? Because I've already figured them out. So these lines through them mean that I've guessed that someone is who I think they are, but having them be removed from the list entirely means that I figured out exactly who they are and how they died. So I'm going to say that this is probably Edward Nichols. It's either the second or the fourth mate because I know who the third mate is. Um, he was shot with a gun by... I'm not sure. I'm not sure who that guy is who shot him. Now there's this person. Who's another one from like Laos or one of those places, you know. Now it's going to start in about three minutes, everyone. Three minutes. Whoa. That whole trip felt unnecessary. Like, why even go up here? It's like the, the next corpse is right here. Da -da. Let's see what happened to them out in the ocean. 
See, Miss Lim. I can show you who that is. Uh oh. It looks like this guy might have gotten burned by whatever was in this box. And this dude, this is the guy who got shot, is pulling up what appears to be a mermaid. Hey, what's up, Chaos Mesh? How are you doing today, my dear sir? Happy Monday. Do those words go together? I'm not so sure about that. I'm doing all right. A little tired, a little stressed by life, but aren't we all? <laughs> Plus, I got this weird token refresh message in my OBS that's just bothering me. I don't know what at all to do about it. Look at you, kicking, kicking ass and taking names. Ever played Return of the Obra Dinn? See, I don't know who it is, but I know that he got burned. Nope, never played it. See, you don't have sufficient information to determine this person's identity, but I can try anyway. Uh, let's see. From India, from England, from China. No, no, no. From Formosa, I believe. One of these from Formosa is who, who these guys are. Like, I can just totally guess and say this is It Bang Sa Sa Saya. But the game is telling me that I haven't seen enough. I don't know for sure that that's who this person is. So, Vash, here's, what hap here's how this game works. You're an insurance agent, and the, the Oberdin went missing a couple months ago, but it mysteriously drifts back into the port. And your job is to use a magic pocket watch that shows the last few moments of a person's death to determine who everyone is according to the ship's manifest and how they died. And, if applicable, who killed them. Okay? So that is our task and that is what we're up to here. Let's see. Because I don't think I identified the lady from Formosa just yet. Oh, maybe they're actually from China, but these are top men, not passengers. So, yeah, it's all only the Formosa passengers. How was your weekend? Uh, it was alright. You know, a little busy doing some Pokemon things and stuff. And you probably can't hear it now because of the freaking ads. I'm so sorry! Right, but you'll notice the kanji here. Very specific kanji. And I'm not sure that they're Chinese either. Miss Lim. So, let's see if I can find a Lim in here. Aha! There's Lim. Lan Lim is the, the lady. Not this guy. Not whoever I thought it was. Okay. There she is. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Kettle drums, baby! It literally won't let me move until I hit A and initiate this whole thing. Hey look, there's something shiny out in the water. Or maybe this, the water is shiny. It's hard to say. <laughs> what? What? is the case here. Alright. This should be the last memory that's out in the water, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, well, Klefki can piss off. No one cares. What 
What in the hell? That mermaid got pwned by something. Whoa! It's like some kind of magical energy shit. It's causing all these creatures to go. Ah! Let's see. Miss Lim's body is still just right here. Kind of looks like she may have been just bled to death. But I don't believe that was one of our one of our um, options for cause of death. So we'll have to keep looking on that one. Oh my goodness though, look at this thing. Got some crazy magic shit happening here. Seriously, it's like taking their damn torso off. <laughs> it's a fire and it's laser! <laughs> The Calling, Part 4. Oh, see? Bon Lan Lim met an unknown fate. Well, we know that she... What she... Fate she... We know what her fate was now. <laughs> By the Beast. Well, it may not have been speared by a beast. It's hard to say from the from the picture because it looks like she just kind of bled out, like I said before. And as I said before, there's no bleeding out or expired or maybe she was drowned. I, I honestly don't know. Right? It says we have sufficient information to figure it out. But, like, these guys were obviously speared, whoever they are. Whoa! Let's find their bodies. Oleg, you're still breathing? Turn your own. Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake! Ah, see? Nichols. So it was the second mate. Right? And this guy, I guess, must be O'Hagan. Right? I don't really see anything that could harm him. But he clearly, like, they both got speared. Oh, it looks like Kim got, or Miss Lim got bitten or eaten or clawed. Something like that by a beast. She's got some sort of shiny seashell in her hair, it looks like. This guy got speared. That could also be O'Hagan. Are you still breathing? Right? So those are the things, like, you just get subtle clues about who everyone might be. See, accessible only through another corpse. That's kind of a pain in the ass. Right, this unknown soul. I think, if I'm not greatly mistaken, that he is, um... Well, he's not the helmsman. <laughs> but based on his manner of dress, he is... You know, he's not the fourth mate, but he's, like, someone's mate, I think. You know. Gunner's mate, perhaps. Or a steward, you know, one of the stewards, probably. Right, right. I think he's Samuel. I'm gonna write in Samuel anyway. He was speared by a beast. 
So at least we have the cause of death correct. Now if we go back to Miss Lim here, she was not speared by a beast, but like clawed by a terrible beast. As we just saw in Sammy's memory, right? Once again, I have to have three correct in order for the book to go, aha, you've done it. Three are correct. And you can sort of check out who else is here. See, I can show you the other stewards, how they dress. And then you'll know that that is definitely like they have to be stewards. Right. But these are like the only Formosa passengers right here. Right, like look let's look at her. Bun Lan Lim Formosa. Right? So we got her, we got it being L Saya and Chio Tan and Hak Seng Lao. But he one of them got is the one who got executed. We talked about that earlier because they got like a firing line. So that's who one of these names is for that guy um but and you know what we could just keep plugging in names until I, we get a hit but that's kind of a terrible way to do this let's see who else's corpse are we gonna look for this dude who very well could be O'Hagan or the other one could be I don't know keep rowing where is it? Bang the chest. Did you hear that? Here's a weapon. Mike and I. Pick up the oars and row, you fools. Pick up the oars and row. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Right in the neck. Right. Oh, Hagen, you're still you still breathing. So I think that might be Oh Hagen. Right. And it said bang the chest. So this guy over here is going to be Bang. Now we know, have enough information to know who he is. And it looks like this son of a bitch got clawed by one of these things. That's a darn shame. Yeah, poor flat bastard. this guy with the pipe not really sure who he is based on his manner of dress I'd say maybe the surgeon I don't know why they would have brought the surgeon out here but who can say ah the clowns got me get him off get him off <laughs> Right, not enough information to determine who this is. But you'll notice that that first statement, Mother of God, is being spoken in Russian. You know, or Ukrainian, something like that. One of those languages. So clearly... Oh, I'm sorry, no, this... He didn't get clawed, he got speared by a beast yeah so but I think we have enough information now to say that this is bang which one is bang let's see it bangs yeah yeah him aha see I figured out three of them three more fates have been correct he burned to death she got clawed by a terrible beast and lastly this guy was Thomas Sefton, the cook. I was right. <laughs> See? I figured it out, baby. It was because of how he said, you know, I'm, I can cook us up something or whatever. Because clearly, these creatures that are attacking these other people, that's what they brought aboard. And he got smacked right in the face by one of their tails. Uh-oh. There is yet another corpse. Let's 
see what we got. Keep course due east. You'll reach the Canaries in three days. Do you pack enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! Be one swabble! I shut that off. This is strange things. I've got monsters. Oh. Oh dear. Looks like that dude got majorly speared. And is he dressed as a steward? Is he also a steward? He could be. Nice shot. See that thing over there? That is a door. As if I needed to explain that to you, but we'll be seeing its purpose in just a moment. Seriously, though, right in the chest. Like, I think it seriously just nailed him right in the heart. Like, goddamn, that was a good shot. Poor bastard. Does this guy still have his pipe, though? He still has his pipe. Wow. Dude likes his pipe, I guess. Right. No idea who he is, but we know how he died. <laughs> he got speared right in the chest. Ouch. Everyone hear that? That large ka chink, that unlocking sound? That means we can go into this doorway and now exit this memory. So we've completed the chain of memories. <laughs> Literally, the chain of memories that goes all the way through the entire of the calling. Disappearances. Ah, see? Two wayward souls disappear during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. All right, we got one of these gunners and this guy. So we have to figure that out in order to figure out everything else. But before that... Oops, I'm sorry, wrong button. Catalog of adventure and tragedy. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Overdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Within the passages of this book, the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Overdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and the fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office Affair of Affairs in Morocco. Morocco's in Africa. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for Right. So that's one that you can kind of determine. <coughs> Jesus. Sorry. Ugh. Right. Let's see. Um, Henry Evans, right here. Surgeon. Ah, uh, who is Henry Evans? That is a good question. To see, this is kind of working backwards. You have to find the picture that relates to him. And then you can determine who it is. Unless you find him in a memory. Uh, let's see. Wasn't he in murder? It 
wasn't unknown. He got shot by several people. Give it up. That person who said give it up. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to go through each of these, right, and see, aha, see, on the Orlop deck. So now if I go to the ship and I'm on the main deck, I think, yeah, main deck. So what I want to do is go down two floors and go to the Orlop deck. And this also shows me where each of these things lit, sort of followed, you know, like I found, hold on, this corpse right here, Soldiers of the Sea, and that led to Soldiers of the Sea part four down here, and part five, six, and seven. Yeah, that poor bastard, he wasn't even trying to do anything. He was just kind of leaning up against the wall and he got spiked. Sad. Anyway, let's get down to the Orlop deck and see and I want to point this out too watch this see when the watch is open it means that I've already um, seen their memory but I can go back to it right open the book while the pocket watch is open to flip directly to the relevant page gee it's almost like we just did that and didn't need that explanation dumbass okay like I said, going down to the Orlop deck, because there should be a corpse or a, you know, pile of bones or something here that will give me another clue. <laughs> if the door closed by itself and I couldn't open it again, then I'd be concerned. I'd be like, oh shit, no, what? Well, there's a knocked over chair, but that's nothing out of the ordinary. Certainly not more out of the ordinary than that. Look at that thing. Um, let's see. There's something on the other side of this part of the ship, of the Orlop deck. But I'm just checking on this side to see if there's anything here. This is clearly where the carpenter does his business. Another corpsey clue around here somewhere on the Orlop deck. I just don't, not exactly sure where. Where are you, corpsey clue? Where or where could you be? Guess it's not on this side of the ship. Maybe it's this cow skull? I think it is. Yeah, because I have the watch is closed, which means I haven't seen this memory yet. That's right, we're going to see the memory of the cow dying. <laughs> you may want to avert your eyes. Let her hear. One swing. Get through the skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? But never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. Never been on a farm, Charlie. So this guy is Charlie. And again, based on how he's dressed, I'd say he's a steward of some kind. Not sure what happened to him. Poor cow. She never did no nobody no harm. All right, they said something about last rites. I think this guy is the surgeon, because he has the monkey. Kind of makes it really obvious. This poor bastard. I don't know what happened to him, but we're gonna find out, I'm sure. Poor Bang. All he was trying to do was keep his lady safe. Uh 
Uh-oh. Stream Raiders is ready, and we'll take care of that in just a hot second. Oh, I can do that during a memory? I can pause? Oh, great. Fantastic. Let's open Stream Raiders real quick. And take care of that. Um, it's over! I have the high ground! <laughs> I should probably maybe have placed it a little closer to here. But whatever. Fire those arrows. Fire them, I say. And be quick about it. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. And there was one hiding behind him. I didn't even see that son of a bitch. Jesus. Okay. Look like Doomy 92E. <laughs> Got some gl a gladiator scroll. Good for you. Let's see. Um, okay. Well, we're going to want to start up here, I think. We're going to go this way. Try and get as many of those chests as we possibly can. All right. Warrior it is. Let's do it. Vibe up this tribe. Get some more warriors and melee units around here. Dagger Helt, thank you very much for the help. I appreciate it. I'm sorry for if that's a bad Scottish accent, but like, I don't know why. The Dagger Helt's name just kind of makes it. It brings that to me. It makes it sound like it's just a Scottish name. <laughs> don't know why. Don't ask me to explain it. <laughs> All right. So there we go. That's the poor cow dying. And this is Charlie now. Um, before the stream is over, I'd like to re-enter one memory at least. And I'll show you how you can re-enter a memory and sort of focus in on someone and go, Oh, it's this person. And then you can sort of open the book and go, Oh, that person, you discovered that person in another memory over here. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Thank you. Right. So, like, this guy... Oh, well, I'm going to try anyway, because I can pretty much tell who he is. He's got to be the butcher. Right? Because who else is he going to be? And let's see, that guy was crushed by a cannon. He was spiked. Well, either that, right? Either the guy that I just identified was the butcher or this guy is. There's no butcher's mage or anything like that. So one of them has to be the butcher. And this guy, I don't know who he is. He might be like the carpenter or something. I'm not sure. But I'm trying to find this Charlie. I think that's him, isn't it? Or that, that could be Charlie. I'm going to try this and see if we can find a Charlie. Yeah, the bosun's mate, Charles, right? Are there any other Charlies that I should know about? Right? Because they're not going to be a passenger. They've got to be... Oh, there's also Charles Herstick, a midshipman. So I don't know for sure that that is Charles Mishtick, but his name is Charlie, so he's got to be one of the Charles in the manifest, right? Because that's how it works. <laughs> Charlie is a shortening of Charles. Here we go again. Now we got this poor son of a bitch who I believe was spiked by monsters. But we'll see, won't we? Yes, we will. We will see just what he died of. Well, 
Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Oh, lung I'm disease. And that's going to start in two minutes, by the way. Worse from the cold. We it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some love. We'll see. We'll see. He's going to die. Okay, so obviously he's the guy with the tie over here. He's the doctor. Don't know who this guy is, but he's dying of lung disease. This guy is like the third mate, I think. He might be the surgeon's mate or something like that. And there's the monkey. And there's this other guy who got corpsified. Poor bastard. Can't go up this way. Nothing else over here as far as the memory extends. Oh, but I can't go back here, which is interesting. Is there anyone back here that I should know about? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Okay. That's fine. Some of these memories are extremely minimalist in terms of what they give you. You know, in terms of what information is provided. Right, seven others were present. Including this guy with the hat, and this guy, and that guy who seems to have a stethoscope. And now we have enough information. Like, I don't know how we have enough information to know who this guy is. But, you know, I'm going to say that he's James Wallace, the surgeon's mate. Oh! Was I right or was I right? Bam. We got James Wallace, the surgeon's mate, strangled by a beast. Hey, Charles Heshick, the midshipman who was spiked. And Emil O'Farrell, the butcher. Boom, bam, baby. How you like me now? Suck it, you logic puzzle. Right? A lot of people were spiked during the Soldiers of the Sea incident. A lot of them were spiked. <laughs> Except for him. He was strangled. <laughs> Poor bastard. And naturally, we have to check out what happened to this guy. So let's do that. Ooh, a vanilla lux? Hell yeah, I want that. Shouldn't have to go too far, because the corpse in the memory was right there. Yep, there it is. Let's find out what happened to this son of a bitch, shall we? Hey, <laughs> Right. They kept saying Syed, Syed, so we know who that guy is. You know, we got his name. And in fact, if that's his bunk, that's one of the ways that you can tell who is who, right? 54. You can't see, well, I guess you can't see this guy's face. But there's a point where you can't see anything, but you can see the guy's shoes. And so then you can determine just who is who. Right? Like this guy here with the shoes, you see? Number 59. And this guy over here with different shoes, number 40. Number 39 over here. They all got their blankets pulled up over. God damn it, Vanillux, are you serious? Number 37 over here. Right, someone said, stop cheating. So that was the 
card game that I just focused in on for the last couple seconds of memory. Right, I think we know who this guy is because they just said, right, because it was all here. Syed, drink something, right? So let's see if we can find a Syed in here somewhere. Let's see, Solomon Syed, there you are. And he, right, same as the other one. Remember that? So he succumbed to a tragic illness. And this guy, I'm not sure who he is either, but he kind of looks like he might be a steward or a midshipman. I'm not really sure, but we do know that he succumbed to a tragic illness as well. Oh, that's the magical noise of get the hell out of here. Oops, that was the wrong button. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out, aha! It's L. See, when you do that, you can go straight to this person who apparently we have enough information to identify him, but I don't even remember where I found him. So, you know, and we can do that for anybody, right? That's this guy right here. And of course, if we go back, we can see that stop your cheating, worry about yourself. So at least two of these guys are Russian. Right? You see what I mean? Right? This unknown soul, but I think there are only a few people, especially like actual ship mates that are from Russia, right? There's only three that I can see. So these three are probably all the Russians. The question is who is who, right? But that's just something I wanted to point out. Like you can do that with anyone in a particular memory. just go except for like this see you can't focus in on their shoes and go oh I can identify that person um, although what we can do the crew right go down to number 59 here George Shirley right we have to find George Shirley but how you do that you find the person with those shoes and see how they died right this is the dude with the hat I don't think we have enough information oh we do now suddenly have enough information to identify this person Okay. That's the thing. Like, you have to look at, look back at a bunch of the memories and the conversations and all the things because I, you know, the game says, oh, you have enough information to identify this person. And I'm going, do I? <laughs> like, I'm not sure. I wasn't taking notes. So I don't know just how to identify this person. Like, I'd love to think that. Um, right, like, hang on a second. If we look at the guy, this guy here, who's dying, right? Saeed, he's a seaman. So perhaps this guy is also a seaman. But the problem is we have Jesus. How many? One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them to go off of. So it could be any of them.
because Sierra, Sierra Leona, I don't know. That sounds like a place that would have a hat such as that. Those other three are Russian, so we can rule them out. Unless he's from Denmark, but I don't think so. So yeah, that's essentially just a placeholder until I can identify who everyone else is. Right? And this guy, apparently, we can identify him, too. But I don't know how exactly. Because he doesn't even have a number. Well, there's a whole bunch of words on his hammock, but there's no, like, words that say... Let's see. Number 51, huh? So... That should be Renfred Raju. Again, we're not going to be sure if that is indeed Renfred until we find the correct fates of some of the other people. But we should, <laughs> theoretically, supposedly, have enough information to identify some of the other people here. Right, and in fact, the X's at the bottom, I think what that means is that I have enough information to identify those people, right? So, let's test that out for a second. If we go to murder, for example, it says there are three people who died in here, right? Nunzio Pasqua was knifed by Edward Nichols, the second maid. Hong Sang Lao or Hock Seng Lao, excuse me. I think, right? That's who it said. Hock Seng Lao, you've been found guilty by self-confession of murder. So what we really need to do is to identify someone over here who, you know, one of these four people who shot him and I think that will solidify his fate, right? But see, we have enough information, it says. The picture is very clear to identify him, and this guy too. But the real question is, who is it that shot him, right? I think this guy was a seaman because of where he's positioned in the picture. Pretty much all the seamen are right here you know, and these are like different pictures. This is like the maiden voyage. This is justice at sea. So this is the trial and, you know, the previous guy getting executed and all that, right? But really we'd have to go back to this memory and look around and see, okay, who is this guy? And what did they say? And, right? Load her up. We best push off. Let me go. Give her here, will ya? Slack the lips and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it up. Right? Whoever died is the one who said give it up, but I don't know who it is at this juncture. But, right, like I said, it's three X's, so we know who those are. But those two lines right at the bottom there, that indicates, right, that we don't know who these two are, who disappeared. And I may have to re-enter <coughs> re those memories too, to determine who that, who those are. What I'd like to do now is look at this, at the Life at Sea, and see See, I've identified a couple of people, but my question is, do I have enough information now to identify everybody? I think so. Let's see. This one is a seaman from Indonesia, I believe, or a top man, or New Guinea, maybe. Aha, see, there you go. Was one, one of those places where you can get some of those tattoos. So, there he is. A top man was torn apart by a terrible beast. That was a really gruesome one. <laughs> Solomon Saeed has succumbed to a tragic illness. Oh, and I was right about him. Raju. 
also succumbed to a terrible illness. Booyah! How many is that in one stream? Like, I think this is the third time this has happened, so that's at least nine that I've gotten correct during the course of the stream. How awesome is that? Okay. So, but this is why I want to use this as my tool, because this will tell me if I have enough information to... Right? Like, this guy, he's in three memories, but I don't even know who he is or how he died. I'm not sure I've seen one of his deaths yet. Um, so, what I want to do now is find the table of contents. Right? Um, did I see all of Lou's cargo? There seems to be another part of Lou's cargo that I'm missing. So, there may be another corpse somewhere that will give me that information, right? And, by the way, all the X's at the bottom, they only appear when the entire chapter is complete, you know? So, then you have your, you, you can be assured that all of the corpses are there and you're not, like, missing one, you know what I mean? Right, so murder is done, the calling, good, unholy captives... Right. Uh, soldiers at sea. Of the sea. Oh, I'm missing one of these. Maybe there's another corpse that I can find to grab the rest of it. On the cargo deck. Okay. So on the cargo deck, somewhere. Which deck am I on right now? Which deck could I possibly be on? Let's see. I'm on the Orlov deck. So... We need to go down one more to the cargo deck. And there should be another corpsey thing, another something that leads us to another clue about the soldiers of the sea. Let's see if we can find it, shall we? Right? Is there, like, the corpse stuffed into a barrel or something? And you'll notice all of these doors have a little line where the lock should be. That means that you can open them. There are other doors, or sometimes you find doors like this one that you can open, but they have a little X over the lock. That means that you can't open them. <laughs> I need a drink. Ugh. I can't drink any of it. That's not fair. That's so not fair. Okay. We were here earlier, we got this whole thing. So that's not what we're looking for. Maybe there's another one in the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, yep, that is definitely a corpse. <laughs> Let's check it out. Is that all? <laughs> Who else wants some? <laughs> well, it looks like he fired his gun after getting spiked or speared or something by whatever the fuck this is. That dude up there has a sword. That's one of the top men, I believe. Oh, and this dude here fighting valiantly. I'm not sure who he is. Could be the carpenter's mate, perhaps. Oh, and there's this gentleman here. We already know what happened to him. Oh, there's someone else. Oh, I can't get past someone here. Mr. Stripe Shirt. <laughs> We like Mr. Stripe Shirt. All right. So, a hideous monster perished simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. 
Yes, indeedy. And apparently we have enough information to know who he is. Um, I'm going to say he got spiked by a terrible beast. Um, maybe he's either the carpenter or the carpenter's mate. One of the two. And I say that merely because of how he's dressed. That magical noise means that we can leave this memory. And that's the end of that one. But at least I found... Hopefully that's the rest of the Soldiers of the Sea. Yep, that's it. So now it's just down to identifying everyone and how they died and yada yada yada. Right? This unknown soul was elected but he's a top man, and he has the certain shoes, right? I believe he's number, he's one of the ones from China. I think he was 39. We saw him lying in a hammock earlier. But anyway, I uh, let me just look and make sure that that's it. Right, so that was Soldiers of the Sea, the Doom, and we have, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven disappearances to account for. Holy balls, um, that is a lot. It was clubbed by an unknown attacker. You killed my brother. Yeah, that has to do with the, uh, the cargo thing earlier when the cargo dropped and killed somebody. The bargain can't do that until we return the book. Oh, it looks like right, and then there's the escape and the end. I think we've six these are the end is the easiest part because you know you easily identify who everyone is and how they died right because this guy was shot or was knifed by the captain so he was a gunner or the gunner's mate one of the two Let's just say he's the gunner for the time being. He got clubbed by the captain. And I don't know who he is, but he looks like he might be a top man. Maybe from Scotland. Could be Timothy Bootman. Or Lewis Walker, perhaps? Game's tight-lipped. It's not going to tell me. Oh, and see, this is a very nice thing. Mate. An officer or tradesman that supports and assists their superior. Right? If we go back and look at the picture here, all the mates, right? The first mate, look at the hat. The hat determines, and there's the second mate, right? This guy, he's like the bosun or the gunner. This guy could be the gunner. And this guy could be a gunner's mate. I'm not sure. Right? He's the one that I suppose was, ex was electrocuted. I know he was electrocuted. And like... Right, here's a midshipman, so this guy is also a midshipman, as is this guy. This guy, wasn't he the one who had, uh, who had the monkey? So he's Henry Evans. And we know from the letter, from the forward part of the book, that he is still alive. And in Africa. 
Ha ha ha! That's 12 fates in one stream. Thank you and good night. <laughs> right? Henry's alive and in Africa. That's Winston Smith, the carpenter. I got that right. That is purely a guess. But that's Lewis Walker. Hell yeah! Anyone who may have came, come into this stream. Oh, I didn't see popping caps. Thank you for coming in. I almost missed your message there, man. But I'm giving you a shout out anyway. Oh, they can hear us. Check out popping caps. He's amazing. Right, well, I'll be this car went clubbed good. by Robin Richrow. Captain. I can tell oh, man, that smells so fucking good. I don't know who that guy is. I still want to identify loaf. this guy. Look at that loaf. Gorgeous. Oh, wow. What kind of loaf even is that? I don't even know what that is. The carpenter was spiked, but presumably there was another... Right, and there's like a whole memory Oh, more stream raiders, more stream raiders. Always more stream raiders. Let's do it. Put a killing field right about here. Hopefully they will meet in the middle. Monotony 8-bit. I like it. Raffle Chen? Raphael Chan. So, this game really takes some guesswork, at least. You know? But, we kind of try to, you know, there's supposed to be ways to go, oh, logically, if this person said this, or if they were here at this time, or if they're dressed a certain way, they must be so-and-so, right? But you could spend all day plugging in the three Russian names of all those Russian top men who are, you know, doing their thing and playing their card game, and still not have the book go, okay, you are right. And part of that is because you also have to get their fate correct, which is a real pain in the ass sometimes. Okay. It looks like a warrior would be good here. We'll vibe up our tribe, but we'll ask for some rogues over here. And some melee units around my warrior guy. Some support units in the back. Ranged units as well. Okay? Streamraiders.com slash T slash delightful poisoning. Do it up, please, and thank you. Alright, hush up. Okay. So, yeah, that was the thing. That's why I was looking at all of this. Because I wanted to see. Oh, this guy is obviously the helmsman. He's. He's got his hands on the wheel. Finally, Dalton. Two memories. Memories where this person appears can be navigated from here. First memory is in number 26 and disappeared in the Doom. Bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Right? So now they're bookmarked. So that means that I can go straight to those memories. He first appeared here in this one where this guy dies and gets shot. Uh, so why don't we revisit this memory and see if we can figure out what happened to the helmsman. Okay? The memory is on the main deck. So we just got to get up onto the main deck. Okay. Um, yes. Alright, 
so it is. Oh. No, no, it's set on the main deck. Oh, that's where the memory occurs. But it's actually um, on the gun deck. Okay, hold on. I go back down to the gun deck. Poor flat bastard. <laughs> this one is a little interesting because the memory is associated not with this corpse, but with, hang on got to find it. <laughs> I think it might be out this door. Or is it that one? Yeah, right here. See? That leg right there? That is the memory that I was looking for. And that's going to start in a little over a minute, about a minute and a half. Oops. I forgot to turn Stream Raiders off again. That is my bad. <laughs> And lower the boats! The whole crew will be on us! Give it up! Ah! Give it up! I don't know. He sounded kind of Irish to me. Let's see. He got shot by this person. Who appears to be Edward Nichols, the second mate. So, if this is the helmsman... Wait. This isn't the helmsman. No. Because we're just... This is the fate of this guy. Who got shot by Nichols. And I have no idea who he is. He's not a bosun. He's not a mate. Well, he could be a, a carpenter or gunner's mate, perhaps. Unlikely, but possible. Um, purser. Like, I'm not even sure about that. Um, he's not a steward, because he's not dressed right. I don't think he's a midshipman, either. Uh, it's possible that he's a topman. Right? He sounded like he was maybe from Ireland. I'm not sure that that was O'Hagan, though, because he is not available in those... Because, right, remember, O'Hagan was out there on the sea when that one chapter happened, uh, The Calling. So, let's try Timothy Bootman as a top man. I still don't know if that's correct, but um, that's my best guess at the moment. Let's see, who's this now? No, really, who is this? I don't know. Not really sure. Anyway, we were looking for the helmsman. Where the fuck is he? Is that him? Yep, there he is. Right, he seems to have... Didn't he... He disappeared in the doom. So I think it's safe to say that he got drowned by a beast. Okay, that may not be right. Um disappeared in the doom. Okay, so we're sure that he's the helmsman because he's, you know, manhandling the wheel. And as a matter of fact, this looks like a midshipman because of the ascot that he's wearing. But which one? Good question. Because we have two left. We got Peter Milroy and Thomas Light. Sorry, we're still trying to figure out what happened to the midshipman. Uh, oh, a Duraladon? Damn, I should have gone for that. So, maybe what we need to do... It looks like he got a spear or a something to the leg. 
So is this the only memory, right? It's not the only memory he appears in because it says that he appears in two of them, right? Disappeared in the doom. In the doom part eight. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the doom parts seven and eight and see if I can find him. Maybe even part six. Right? See if I can see his nice dark vest somewhere. I believe all of the Doom, whoops, wrong button. All of the Doom chapters are on the main deck. So let's find chapters. Um, six and seven, or part six and seven. This guy looks like um, a steward to me. This could also still be Paul Moss or Samuel Callaghan. I don't know if we have enough information. It says we have enough information, but I don't know if his name was ever said or anything. Right. It said Sir. And the only Sir present that I can see is the third mate. Martin Perot. So, logically, we can probably determine that he is the third mate steward, Roderick Anderson. Logic, baby! That's 15 fates if you're counting. Hey, I was right. The, he the helmsman was drowned by a terrible beast. And that is Timothy who got shot by a gun by Thomas. And there's Roderick who got crushed by a loose cannon. Or a flat bastard. <laughs> so, you may rightly come to the conclusion that this game is a little dull, but it is interesting, isn't it? Like, it's so far removed from what you would normally think of, you know, because normally in this game, you would be playing as the shipman, trying to fight off the, um, you know, the creatures or whatever. And, like, that's how the story would unfold. But no, no. The story is unfolding by, you know, looking backward and trying to figure out how everyone died. And finally, Dalton was drowned by a terrible beast. Um, is this guy... Oh, excuse me. Actually, oh, he disappeared in the doom. So, odds are that he was drowned by a beast. Or crushed, or something like that. It's hard to say, because... You know, when they say they disappeared, that usually means that, that you, you can't see them. You know? You can't actually see what happened to them, you know, but it does say, okay, so what I'm trying to get at here is like, this guy also looks like a steward, not a steward, but a midshipman. I may have those two reversed, but that's okay. Um, see, when it says others were present, you know, it may be the case that I'm going to unbookmark his memories. So we already got this guy figured out, right? So, like, in this chapter, this guy 
and this guy disappeared, right? They both disappeared. We don't know what happened to them. But they were present in this memory. So what you have to do is kind of look around and see, oh, there's Striped Shirt Guy. And he is clearly going overboard, so he's dead, you know? In fact, let's try and find uh, the Doom Part 8. Okay, so that was the death of the captain's sweetheart, whose corpse is lying here. So, I can let you listen to the Doom Part 8. Martin. Got home. Poor creature. Clubbed by a beast. See, the rigging isn't just falling. The beast has it. This is what I was talking about when I said that a kraken was doing it. Okay. So, it says that Mr. Striped Shirt is around here somewhere. He's present in this memory based on what I've read. Oh, can't get past this tentacle. That's too bad. I can get up here. Oh, no, guess not. Because of the waves. There's the third mate over here. Right? Don't know what happened to him yet. In nine different memories, I don't know if we got a memory for him of when he actually died. Right? I don't know who this guy is. He looks like he might be Chinese. No offense, it just, you know, the eyes. <laughs> kind of, kind of gives it away um but i'm going to assume that he was drowned by a terrible beast because you'll notice that a tentacle is wrapping around him right so presumably he is going down and he's on the rigging so he's definitely a top man but which one huang li li hong i don't know could be Wei Li. And this is what I mean. Like, unless you have solid evidence of two other fates, you're never going to find out just what happened to this guy for sure. Right? This guy with the striped shirt, he should be here in this memory as well. Possibly also on the rigging. So I'm just trying to locate him real quick and see if I can determine just what happened to him. I think I already got the fate of this one. Yeah, Lewis Walker. He got clubbed because he actually managed to survive until the end. And then he didn't. <laughs> Let's see. Is there someone else on the other rigging? No. Right? Ten others were present, including this guy, but I can't seem to find him. I'm going to go ahead and assume that he was drowned by a beast, you know. That tentacle is wrapping around that dude. He could have also fallen to his death if I could find him, like, up on the... Oh, oh, here he is. I mean, based on his manner of dress, I honestly have no idea what his position is. 
but presumably he's a seaman of some kind. So John Naples, maybe? Or Henry Brennan? And yes, I am just po just getting names in here, hoping that one of them takes. Could also be John Naples from Wales. He doesn't look like he's from India. No offense, I'm just saying. I don't think he's one of these guys, right? I mean, if we go to the glossary for a second, and check out maybe seamen. Low level crew member responsible for general manual labor on and below deck. Yeah, so that is probably what he is, but I can't say with any certainty. Right, and it's too dark really to see his shoes, so I can't tell. If I'm not greatly mistaken, this guy gets his arm freaking torn off. So maybe that is the issue, is that I said he expired from old age, when in reality, what happened is he got uh, torn apart by a beast. And I think this guy might be the bosun. Or perhaps the gunner? He appears in a different memory and he talks about I'm not sure. I'd have to go back through and check some other memories. But it's just about time for me to be done for today. So I appreciate everyone for being here. Thanks so much, Caps and Base Mender and Chaos Vash. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Tire love. On Friday, we're going to be playing probably a Twitch integrated game or maybe one of those party games like Marbles on Stream. We'll see. But I wish you a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it may be for you, and some good gaming. And now, my friends, we're going to raid out, and hopefully we'll find a good one to raid out to. Not that there's anyone bad to raid out to. Sure. Why not? And if you have any interest in Return of the Obra Dinn, it's available on the Switch. I think it's available on the Steam. I don't know for sure. I'd have to check. But it's really quite a fascinating game. It's created by the same people. You may have heard of a game called Papers, Please. Another game with an unusual uh, control mechanism. An unusual uh, plot. That's a game about being an integration officer. Anyway, enough of my enough of my blathering. Let's start the raid already. I can't tell if Twitch has initiated the raid right now or not. It says we're raiding them, so hopefully it raids them successfully. I hope you all enjoy your day. <laughs> it's Monday, so good luck with that, right? But <laughs> uh, we'll check you later, everybody.